Oh, this was the first tattoo that I got. It's actually a paper plane turning into a regular plane. It's kind of a sense of development in the industry and personal development. And I also like the graphics, so it ended up in my forearm. I was always an aviation enthusiast, so as majority of the students in their high school years, they have uh, some uncertainty in their heads that they don't know what they want to study, there's a selection process, it wasn't the case for me. Since the beginning of the uh, mid-school, since the end of the mid-school, I was always knew that I would like to work in the work and do something in the aviation sector. So when I saw there was an actually a field of study called aviation management, I was sold immediately. My enthusiasm towards this university was actually a good asset for me to promote to other possible students in the future, turn into a full-time employment. And then also last semester, our, uh, our Dean for International Studies also offered me the chance, I'm very grateful for that, offered me the chance to be a lecturer in one of my favorite classes during the studies, Aviation Marketing. Aviation marketing is a course which actually teaches students that how an airline or an, or an aircraft production company produces income. So as all businesses, the main goal is to earn money. So aviation marketing focuses on the product and the place, the promotion, these kind of aspects in the aviation industry and create the perfect formula to generate income for the so-called companies. I started my education back in Turkey, also aviation management in a Turkish university. Then I was lucky enough to participate in the Erasmus Plus program, which I came to UITM Zeshev for only six months, a one semester exchange program. But in my time here, I really enjoyed uh, uh, the city as well as, as well as the university, all the practical classes that it was offering and the certification programs. So I told to myself that if there's a chance for me to transfer here and graduate from UITM, I have to go for it. I was always an interactive student. In Turkey, I was trying to, I tried my best to join all the project classes, the competitions. So every single opportunity to do projects with lecturers or get additional, uh, get additional certifications, additional classes, conferences, I was always volunteering for them. When I was studying, of course, there was no restrictions on classrooms, so we were all of them, with all of my classmates. We were in the class discussing this, discussing subjects, doing projects, being side to side each other. So in that term, the, the the concept of the class changed a lot. My other passion. Uh, other than the aviation is archery. I was doing archery for six years professionally back in Turkey. When I started university, I had to stop for doing it uh, professionally, but it always stayed as my passion since I like to shoot stuff and that's a good combination between shooting and a sport. It was actually, it was quite serious. So it started as a hobby, but then it became like my savior, my salvation when I was in high school. So I elected to the Olympic preparation team in Turkey and uh, I gave my two years living in a different city from my family, just training for competitions and Olympics. <music> Aviation's biggest point is to connect people with people all around the world. So especially in these, unfortunately, there's lots of conflicts going around and it was, it's always been like that. So I'm hoping that in the future, as my profession connects people physically, but the whole people around the world will also connect with each other in a peaceful and a loving manner. Yeah.